Meghan Markle's continuing descent into being a full-fledged party-crashing pariah reached spectacular new lows over the weekend when she was forcibly ejected from Rob Lowe's 60th birthday celebration after showing up uninvited to the A-list affair. Multiple sources who attended the lavish soiree have confirmed that the Duchess of Sussex made a shocking appearance midway through the evening's festivities, strutting into the Beverly Hills venue as if she had been invited among the scores of industry elite. One minute everyone was having a great time, mingling and celebrating Rob, recounted one partygoer who witnessed the incident. The next, there was a huge disturbance as Meghan came marching into the main ballroom like she owned the place. According to attendees, a visibly flustered Lowe initially thought Meghan's bombastic entry may have been a surprise skit or an unscripted prank being staged on his behalf. However, it soon became clear the uninvited gate crash was very real and very unwanted. Meghan started working the room as if she belonged there, sarcastically referring to herself as the biggest celebrity in attendance while trying to infiltrate circles of Rob's friends and co-stars, said another source. The sheer audacity and lack of self-awareness was mind-boggling. At that point, the night's high-priced security staff sprung into action, politely but firmly informing Meghan that she was a trespasser and needed to vacate the premises immediately. Witnesses describe an increasingly irate duchess growing combative with the guards, bizarrely claiming her royal status granted her a presumed invitation. She started demanding to see the venue owners while playing her trademark deranged, don't you know who I am? Card like someone losing their grip on reality, an entertainer in attendance recounted. It rapidly became this super insane sort of showdown turning Rob's party into a total sideshow circus. Videos circulating on social media show Megan at one point attempting to hold an impromptu press conference amidst staff efforts to remove her, railing about being a victim of racist hate crimes, while taking perceived slights about everything from the lighting to hors d'oeuvre selection. Security ultimately succeeded in extracting the riled-up royal after threatening her with arrest for trespassing. However, the damage was already done as Megan's antics reportedly cast a pall over Lowe's party that just killed the vibe for the rest of the night. The whole thing was so disruptive, embarrassing, and uncomfortable, lamented a Hollywood power player who witnessed Meghan's meltdown firsthand. You could see it all over Rob's face that he was just deeply mortified this tackiness had marred his big birthday celebration like that. Lowe himself briefly acknowledged the incident by joking to the crowd, well, that was about as funhouse bizarre as a scene straight out of Tommy Boy. He later shared on social media, Hot damn. I'm 60 years old and just learned what an out-of-control, narcissistic spiral creates a real nightmare scene. Of course, this is far from the first time the former actress-turned-duchess has caused a scene by brashly inserting herself into elite events despite a lack of invitation or affiliation. Just two months ago, video went viral showing Meghan attempting to maraud through the Grammy Awards after-party in Los Angeles before being intercepted by security and barraged with loud chants of, who are you? In 2022, she infamously sparked outrage crashing the Confilm Festival, cynically staging a We're Not Not Special Guests stunt on the red carpet before being booed off the premises by angry crowds. And many Americans were left scratching their heads the previous summer after Meghan unleashed her notorious Truth Lives Here speech on a befuddled crowd attending Robert Irvine's annual celebrity pickleball tournament in Calabasas. This seems to be escalating pattern of delusion fueled by a pathological need to self-aggrandize and thrust herself onto any available public stage through sheer brute force, commented celebrity branding expert Holly Golightly. The unstable lack of self-awareness and decorum on display only serves to estrange her further from the very audiences she still seems to be so desperately courting relevance and credibility from, Golightly added. Representatives for the widely disliked Duchess offered their typical defiant defense in the face of the latest PR fiasco. Meghan was fully within her rights to have seized any public space she chooses for her vital truth-leading, a Sussex spokesperson dubiously stated. These ongoing attempts to silence and demonize her by sinister factions of the racist royal establishment will not deter her determination to shatter outmoded stereotypes and doctrine for an enlightened age. Insiders close to a fed-up Rob Lowe, meanwhile, indicate the beloved actor has no interest in granting Meghan the courtroom harassment bonanza she often craves. He thinks she's a contemptible narcissistic sociopath not worth another thought, 
let alone a minute of his life, fighting her malicious nonsense, confided an associate of Lowe's camp. For many Hollywood professionals, being delivered such a decisive cold shoulder from such a respected figure and talent like Lowe would likely serve as a much-needed wake-up call. But if recent history is any indication, the Duchess of Sussex's delusional quest for infamy and relevance from shamelessly inserting herself into situations she doesn't belong looks to be just getting started. What is your take on this matter? Please tell us in the comments. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.